that you've already read this book in the future but don't remember it because now you're in the past the future's past but the current present you see time is convoluted and strange and there are any number of paradoxes so I thought to myself myself I thought um, what if we do a time travel novel that is not about space and going back and changing the nature of the Second World War what if we avoid the big machines and, and fancy uh, uh, futuristic methods of traveling time and talk about average everyday people and somebody who, as a teenager, invents a small object that you put in your mouth and it allows you to go back to your own time or if you live long enough to your future time um, but only to inform yourself in other words you don't exist as a separate entity in that time um, and you can't go to any time you can't go to ancient history or Rome and Greece you can't go into the far distant future and I said what if we did that what would be the paradoxes I wrote one chapter it was supposed to be a short story it became the first chapter of the book and then I flashed it out with several different characters all that seemed to be um, disparate um, originally they were supposed to be separate short stories all about time and then I realized I could integrate them um, and had a lot of fun investigating simple things now they're simple but because it's time they're not so simple some of the characters are just teenage boys and girls others are kinky lovers in New Orleans other are others are gangsters that want to basically break Las Vegas in one weekend others are Mexicans who are trying to do a knockoff of the device um, and I won't go into every detail but suffice to say that it ends up testing your own perception of what time can be it's a short novel 225 pages um, I think it's upbeat and fun even though there are some things that are negative and challenging in it uh, and I just hope you enjoy it so thanks very much time enough a time travel novel